Okay, now uh, I just go for an example, one problem. See, it says a cube of side 40 millimeter, okay, is cut by a plane such a way that the true shape of the section, such a way the true shape of the section is a regular hexagon, is a regular hexagon. Draw front view, top view and determine the inclination of the plane with HP. Okay, this is how the question reads. Now, basically, the concept is same. We know what is the cube, cube shape of the cube. It has got how many sides. All these things, it's a basic as it is. So, any problem, first we have to draw the correct front and top views. Either the front view is a true shape or a top view is a true shape. First we have to draw that. The next step only, we are going for the section plane or cutting plane I can say. A section plane. So, initially you have to draw a proper front and top views according to the question given, according to the requirement. Then we can go for the section plane. Okay. Now, based on this question, what do you can understand this? A cube of side 40 millimeter, fine is cut by a plane such a way that the true shape of the section is a regular hexagon. What is an hexagon that we know? What is mean by a regular hexagon? Hexagon can be placed in any you know shape, I mean size. For, for example, I will draw a hexagon like this. This also is hexagon. One more I can draw like this. Okay, next second. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then what else? Any 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 other possibilities of placing in hexagon? Say for example these two, which is known as the regular hexagon here. If we place the base in the HP, I mean in the ground, this is one is called regular hexagon. It should not rest with a corner. If an hexagon is resting with a corner, it's called it's not called a regular hexagon. So the hexagon which is resting with its, you know, one face in the ground is called, your base is called a regular hexagon. Now, according to the question, the true shape of the section, that is after the section plane is used, that means after the cutting is done, after the section is done, the true shape of the section will be a regular hexagon. What shape it just has to be, it is given in the question. So, we have to see that we would place the, we have to place the cube such that the after we make a section plane or after the cut portion should be a, a regular hexagon. Okay, we will see how we arrive that. Now, so depending on this, the, the front view or a top view of the cube, we can it's just a cube of side of 40 millimeters given. Now I can draw a square, I mean a cube looks like this in the top view. Is it right? Maybe its height is given, uh, if the height is given, then for the cube no height will be given because its side and height everything will be same. Same 40 it is, I will draw from here. Same size it is. As it is. Now you can give a number of points. At this particular shape or if you place this cube in this particular uh, means, if we use a section plane, I mean cutting plane, either it is inclined or parallel, whatever it is, can we get an regular hexagon is a question. And one more thing, it is not specified whether the cutting plane is an inclined one or parallel one or inclined to what plane it is or parallel to what plane, but it says the answer, I mean the sec, uh, true shape of the section is a regular hexagon only. And we have to find an inclination of that plane. So, which means I can say the cutting plane is obviously a inclined plane. That one clue is there from the question. We are finding the inclination with HP. So, a plane which is inclined to HP is a cutting plane here. That, that idea is confirmed from this clue given in the question. Now, what to do? 
if you place the cube in this shape particular say for example this is your uh, the placement just consider this is a cube this placement no if your front view is like this in the top view i have drawn this particular shape if you cut this in what direction say suppose inclined hp means i can uh, i can say like this i hold a inclined plane if i cut this what will happen from the top again you will be having a shape of a square only i mean a cube only this is square only then what to do if you have a cutting plane like this i mean sex plane like this what will happen if you cut it since the cube is placed like this if you cut it the removed portion will be in what shape because the removed portion is the true shape of the section that should be a regular hexagon is a question okay so you can you know using uh, i've already told you in the previous uh, uh, sessions that you have to make a small model like this either with this uh, chart paper or normal papers and you have to imagine you know think a lot before you decide how this problem has to be with the basic idea what we have already learned you should imagine how to place a body first a cube can be shown like this also or i can place this like this also but when my section plane is passing through that body the solid body i should get an uh, cut portion as a true hexagonal shape say for example the answer has to be like this a hexagon proper hexagon to come this is the idea do we get this six sides or this shape if i use a cutting plane either parallel or it is inclined confirm from this question is inclined with this placement like this a proper cube okay it is not possible okay so the initial placement should be something different only then you will get a hexagonal shape in the true shape of the section what i mean to say if you place the cube equally inclined this is it now cube is kept like this if you place the cube equally inclined this shape only you can get a shape of the true shape of section plane i mean uh, true shape of the section as an hexagon we'll see how it is say for example now this is your 40 mm side this 40 okay and this is also 40 height as it is written now you mark different markings those all these markings you can can you take up the work okay because you are familiar with many problems solving it so now what will happen i am going to use my section plane which should be inclined to hp that is given no doubt in that it is inclined to hp but i don't know what angle it is but i have to think that in what inclination if i place it or in what side if i place it i should see that the cutting points will be having a, at least six points in the true shape that is in the top view because whatever the cutting edges see in in this is a prism if i use a section plane say for example i am using like this what will happen now it touches in the top corner in this top corner i have two points is it not because we have a top view, two points or not it is very simple if you bring this point down project it down it will touch on one face of this you know cube in this top and other face in the this bottom i can say other side like this this will if i bring it down it makes one face here and one face here now when you join these two things you will have see how many sides now i have this one one this is two this is three this is four this is five and six what i mean to say whatever the section plane we are using in this projected view that we have to project it down so the cutting point should be projected down through the true shape of the solid and that points should be marked so wherever the points is you know uh, touching i can say it touches the total body that should be felt that it is removed that is the area considered to be removed so actually how this uh, um, in uh, cube is it is like this is it right so this is the your top view actually top view is like coming like this in your view i'm just showing it this is now what has happened now 
this is been cut in the cut in the sense it looks like this in different view i have this point i can say the center point is here okay i have this point the center point line here and this two corners here so when i use my cutting plane like this how many points i'm covering i have this point brought down one this is two three and four but these portions covers this area also in the meaning if you take consider as taking a scissor that scissor is cutting from you see you just just cut this body in this fashion i mean to say that uh, if it is like this okay in your view but it looks like this um, like this if you cut from this corner to this corner it will become like this this corner cut so this cutting plane touches this point 1 this point 2 bottom 3 and 4 also so these four points are this cutting edges are cutting the point where it, you can grow, uh, project it to the true shape so these points will cover the remaining area as it is because we are bound to see that only these areas is covered because a section whatever the cut section may be a sectioned area a section view is a closed area we don't have an open area in the section view because finally we just show this is a closed area no so whatever may be shape it is even i was giving an example of your cone even the cut section may be like this but what will happen this will be a closed area only we show it as a section so this area is a sectioned area only so we we we, we should not you can ask me a question sir why should not we take this the other portion why we it's removed actually we are cutting this place means so this top portion alone we consider to be taking it out the bottom of the body is remaining as it is this is the shape this shape you can identify it is tilted like this because your front view is like this it is cut from this corner to this corner from the center i can say from this center it is cut like this or i can say from this it is cut so all these touching points the top portion is removed like this so it's become here true shape now from this sketch itself you can identify these points will be your hexagonal shape it is not a true hexagon exact uh, shape of it it will come like this how we get a true shape because the question it says this you get a true shape now you see how to arrive that true shape of the sectional view so what you have to do from these cutting edges say for example 1 2 3 etc you should draw a parallel line i mean i can say perpendicular line to this cutting plane so first i am deciding a cutting plane like this so suppose this is my cutting plane section plane it is p okay so in this i am just after drawing this i am drawing a perpendicular line this will be perpendicular line 90 degree from this all the points i am projecting it now actually from this we can take any particular distance and we consider it to be this xy line is transverse here which is parallel to this section plane you need not have a considerable degree. you can you need not go a longer distance or come very close to the uh, projected view it should look decent you know it should look good and it should be attractive also and you just try i'm just it's almost like tilting this xy line keeping it another plane at the area there from there you start see suppose this point is a and this is b and this is c say for example you start from here so where is your points here 1 2 say the post 3 and 4 so all these points you should mark from here how do you mark from this base of line xy you can hold your compass here measure this distance 1 and this distance can be from you to keep this base as this corner and at this point like this if you make different points it will come at different length right because you have all this 1 2 3 4 5 6 points you have this point 1 sorry this point will be 2 because it is a closed area say this is 4 this will be your 5 is 6 all these uh, points will be there 1 and 2 1 5 6 6 this point is so this one this will cover one face two face sorry three face four face five face and six face is it okay so this points will be totally covered you will get a shape like this at the end
No, if, if you draw it properly, it, in the board you cannot show the exact shape because the different uh, dimensions you need to be measuring it. Then finally you get a proper hexagon like this. So the idea is, after drawing the section plane, you have to mark all these points wherever the edges it goes get, get the, this cutting. From that point you draw a perpendicular line. From this section plane you take perpendicular lines, draw it very long, you know, this side and this XY line, the same line it is considered to be tilted here and you take a considerable distance and draw this XY line. I can take X1, Y1. Oh, it is a different uh, profile plane it is. There you take the distances from this XY to the true shape of the body. Measure each and every point. If it is 1 from 1 it is, from 2 from 2. Then you close this area. It will become a true shape. You will get a proper example. Look, you cannot, I cannot show the exact shape here in the board because you need to have a proper dimension. This 40 or this distance, whatever it is. Right? So this is how you go about a problem. This is an example of a cube. Like this you go for every uh, cylinder or prism, whatever it is. But the basic thing, please you have to understand, any question given, by chance if I make a mistake of drawing a, a wrong front view and a wrong top view, I mean a true shape and its projected view, you will anyhow lose this question. Why? Because the basics is the proper true shape of the body and its projected view. Only then you go for a cutting plane. Now in this question what is asked? So a regular hexagon uh, by a, such a way that the true shape of this section is a regular hexagon. You will get a hexagon. Then draw its front view, top view and determine the inclination of the plane with HP. Now what to do? The section plane you have made it. Now this inclination from the base axis. You can measure here or no problem. You can just even draw an horizontal line and measure this. This will be your theta. Because you remember we have already studied any angle with respect to HP will be theta and VP will be phi. Good? That's it. So this is about your uh, say its prism, I mean sorry cube. Okay.